I work uh, like crazy and, and you know, I've, I've left all my friends in Sweden and, and uh, we're at this office, this rickety office but, uh, uh, with people sleeping here, but you know, I love it. So I grew up in lots of places around Sweden. I got my first personal computer uh, when I was 13 from my dad and I really got interested in kind of how it worked and kind of, I think I broke it four times in, in the year after. discovered you know that you could do lots of stuff on the web and I got super interested and I also met David my co-founder so me and David actually started our first company there it was called the physical interaction lab and it was kind of a crazy idea about creating um, physical interaction design from day one I caught the bug I ended up staying for nine months in Berlin. I was supposed to say only if, like three months or something. I totally got sucked in. There was no social experience around ebooks available at all. Um, and not a good one at least, we thought. You're reading them on a computer, on a tablet, but it's totally disconnected from the web. You can't do anything. And here we felt like we have to do something about this. We gathered some friends, some programmers that we had, like a bunch of different people. We moved into an apartment in Hunstull, it's a part of Stockholm, and started hacking like crazy. Sometimes in this one room apartment, like seven people, uh, just everywhere on sofas, on the floor, like everywhere, just, just hacking away. What we built is a sharing platform for ebook readers. Readme is about two things. It's about sharing what you read with your friends and finding out which books that are popular in your social graph. When you're reading the book, it's kind of interact with the content while you're reading with it. You can highlight your passage, add an optional note and share that with your friends. And then it gets collected on the page on the web so you can go back and remember your favorite parts of a book when you finished it. What's really so cool about Berlin right now is that it's cheap. It's very creative and there's a melting pot of lots of cool people around. Right now, we're in our office on Brunnerstrasse in Berlin and the team consists of five people. And where we are now is basically talking to lots of different partners about implementing our API into their reading applications. I do everything. <laughs> like, from a day-to-day -day basis, it changes totally. And that's what I really love about working with Startup. It could be uh, one day I'm on my headphones like 12 hours in a row just doing back-end stuff. And the other day I'm running around meeting business people, trying to make them to implement our API and trying to make them understand the power of the social thing around ebooks. My best advice for people that want to do their own startup is join one. So you can kind of learn how to go through the grind, how the team works, how to push the product forward, and how to deal with investors, and how to do all of that stuff. Uh, so you kind of you know, build your network and try to learn as much as you can. The thing that keeps me going is this thing where you create something out of nothing. We have these skills now where, where we can actually instruct computers to do lots of cool stuff. And creating a, a team and a product and something that solves a problem and it creates value for people and helps them to read more. That's, that's what we want to do.